Good day all and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we'll be talking about how to generate a bar bending schedule for a building that has been done, has been modeled, analyzed and designed. So this building right here, we have done the modeling, the analysis and the design for the building. We've also done the staircase arrangement in our previous videos. So we are done with um, portal structure because right now we've done what portal structure is all about, which is you model, you analyze and you design for a structure. And now we want to know the quantity of reinforcement that will be needed. That's why we need a bar bending schedule. So what next is we go to the concrete design on concrete design and we click on load portal details that's where we get our bar mark and what is a bar mark for a layman a bar mark is a tabular representation of the reinforcement bar that is needed in a particular building so we need this particular we need this building sorry we need the proper reinforcement bars that will be needed in this building to avoid wastage let's assume we want to go we want to go into the market and purchase this reinforcement bar we need to know the exact amount so that we don't spend a miss so that we buy the quantity that will be needed for our jobs and so that will be that's why you're an engineer an engineer is someone that should be able to give accurate measurement calculations on a piece of job that is given so that's why we always try to get our bar bending schedule we are waiting for our portal detail to load i think it has loaded completely we click on it and we click on start by creating a new drawing now we can create a bar mark for column application plan we can create for column elevation drawing but i would want to create a bar mark for story beam elevation drawing so let's pick out this point this is story one i click on it then i right click then i click on draw beam elevation you can see it you can either pick this a beam that you want or you can select all beam so that it will draw a bar bending schedule for you how do we get that bar bending schedule this is if you remove this if you remove this insert quantity table you won't get your bar bending schedule this is what insert that bar bending schedule for you. So I click on it. So then I click on draw. Now at any place in this screen, just click. I click. I'm waiting for it to generate the bar bending schedule for us. So this is what we are all after like what we're trying to do this is how our reinforcement will be in the beams but let's go with the bar bending schedule let me explain what is needed there now look at this this is our bar bending schedule it's known as beam elevation quantity takeoff now here we have the we, we have the bar mark for the first column you can see we have bar mark 1 to bar mark 12 and we also have for size this size represents the size of the reinforcement we have here a 16 mm reinforcement we also have here 16 mm reinforcement this is 20 and this is 8 mm reinforcement and this is the quantity the quantity of each reinforcement now for bar mark 1 which is 16 mm the quantity we need is 2 now for bar mark 2 which is 16 mm the quantity we need also is 2 let's go to bar mark 6 for bar mark 6 which is 8 mm the quantity we need is 73 pieces of bar mark 2 sorry bar mark 6 now let's go to the length let me use the first bar mark one to explain the length is just the single length for this bar mark 
how do we get the length we go to the form now if we add the straight portion of this our reinforcement bar to the cracked portion let's do that and see what we will get that's three five three zero plus three one zero we'll get three thousand eight hundred and forty you can see this is three thousand eight hundred and fifty why do they do that they did consider the bending portion you can see this bending portion will also take some part of the length so that's why they had to increase it with 10 millimeter you can see so they give you length as 3850 so you get that length from this and this and with a little addition on the length about 10 millimeter addition now how do we get this total this total is gotten from multiplying the quantity by the length now, if we multiply this quantity by this length, it's going to give us 7,700 millimeter, which when you divide by 1,000, you get 7.7 .7 meter. So let's go to Bamak 6.2. Let me explain. This is the steve up. And sorry, okay, we're not done with the form. Now, form. This form is the shape each Bamak would take. Like for Bamak 1, that is 16 mm that we need to quantity so we need two quantity of this shape form means shape we need two quantity of this particular shape now for for bamak 6 the size is 8 mm reinforcement bar or reinforcement rod as most time they call it over here now the quantity we need we need 73 pieces of that Bamak 6 so we need 73 pieces of Bamak 6 of 8 mm or this is the shape we are looking at here the shape we need 73 pieces of this shape now the length of the stirrup that is that is there is given as the length of one stirrup is 1250 millimeter I've told you how we get the total length and this total length is always in meter so when you multiply 1250 millimeter by 73 then you convert it to meter so it will give you 9.91.25 which is the total length you need and this is the shape so this steve up shape here we need about 73 pieces of it now let me explain what bamak is so let's start with let's pick out bamak one Bamak 1, 16, and quantity of 2. So let's go to this drawing. Let's look for Bamak 1. This is Bamak 1. You can see 2 Y16. It means 2 pieces of Y16, which we have already gotten from our bar bending schedule. Bamak 1. And that is the top reinforcement bar. Now let's pick another another Bamak, now Bamak 2 2 Y16 the quantity is also 2 so this is the Bamak 2, let's check for Bamak 2 you can see this is Bamak 2 2 here yeah, represent the quantity of the reinforcement bar why this 2 over here is the Bamak why this is the bottom reinforcement you can see this Y8 Bamak 6 this is the spacing 300 so this our steve up here is at 300 spacing so from this point here to this other point this light green point our steve up should be spaced at 3 300 millimeter you can see the bar mark here is bar mark 6 so let's go and see from our Bamak table, let's find Bamak 6. You can see we we'll go to Bamak 6 and the size is Y8. So we space this particular shape within that uh, section at 300 millimeter. So that is what we need to know about bar bending schedule. So, okay, we've not talked about this up area. Now, this size tells you the
reinforcement size that is needed we need y8 for this particular drawing each bar mark has its own drawing for this particular drawing over here we have three types of reinforcement that is needed we have y8 y16 and y20 and the unit width is given for y8 you can see the unit width is 0 0.395 y for y is in 1.580 now the total length this total length is gotten from when you add all the y16 when you add all the y16 we have here this length of y16 you pick out this is bar mark 1 is y16 bar mark 2 is also y16 bar mark 4 y16 bar mark 5 y16 you add this their total length together you get 91.3 then for sorry you get 101.2 then for bar mark, bar mark 8 we have only one bar mark 8 here you can see sorry we have only one y8 here which is bar mark 6 and look at the total length so you can see also the total length given here is 91.3 that's for y8 which is bar mark 6 now to get the total weight of the hole that is needed, you multiply the unit weight by the length to get the total weight. So unit weight of 0 0.395 times 91.3 will give you 36. So you can use this information to go to the market to get the hold you require. That is simply what bar bending schedule is all about. And also to, it helps you to set up your drawing, like your building. When you're building, you have already what is needed you can ask the iron benders to cut out these shapes for you and then you tell them how to place it in the building so with this it makes your work as an engineer simple and that is what we wanted to learn today um, as a means of encouraging me i would like you to like comment and subscribe to this channel and the portal structure we are using is portal structure 218 so you don't do get carried away by you even if you're using portal structure 2021 it's still the same thing all you need to do is just follow these steps that have been given and you can also go try story 2 on your own to story 3 or you try the column elevation drawing it's still the same thing it's all about you knowing what you need and what to buy so that you don't waste money in getting what is not needed for a building um once again like subscribe and make some comments and you know expect a new video next week god bless you for watching and have a nice day